Veteran shark killer Captain Frank Mundus and his friend Don Braddock have done it again, this time reeling in what is being called a world record. At around midnight, the two Long Island fishermen brought in a great white shark weighing more than 3,000 pounds. News 55's Matt Sesney has the story. After nearly two days at sea, Montauk shark fishing king Frank Mundus returned early this morning with a world record catch, a 17-foot, 3,500-pound great white shark. It's believed to be the largest great white ever caught with a rod and reel, literally shattering a 27-year record set in Australia by almost 1,000 pounds. Veteran Montauk fisherman Don Braddock brought the shark in with Mundus in about two hours. Both, though, had staked out the shark for two days. I would dare say I'll never even see one this large again, but uh, I'm happy with you're sitting on top of the world. How does yeah. that feel? It's good. It's good. I like it. I needed I needed this. It took us 40 years to do it. The top of the ladder. And no, no higher. You can't go any higher. Just as amazed as Mundus and the other fishermen, though, were the onlookers, who had to see the Jaws-like creature to believe it. It's amazing. <laughs> Simply amazing. I'm not a fisherman either. <laughs> well, will you become a fisherman now? Never. <laughs> you saw one behind my boat once with a head as big as my boat. My boat is seven foot wide. He had his, um, seriously, uh -huh. he took off like hell. My son says, let's catch him. I says, let's get the hell out of here. Now, according to Captain Mundus, this great white was spotted some 30 miles south of Montauk two days before it was landed, feeding off a dead whale. Now, the amazing part is, according to Mundus, this was not the only shark out there at the time. According to him, they more or less had their choice of some six to eight great whites. That whale was only dead for 24 hours before we found him. So, I mean, when you really think about it, it's amazing that, that we do have that many white sharks in this area. In Montauk, Matt Sesney News 55.